Hi everyone, this video points out the potential dangers when you stall. And it also points out that if you're not paying attention because you're possibly looking at your phone, it can nearly cause an accident. Good. Do you see the oncoming cars all the way to the other end of the road? So we're not going yet, are we? Traffic lights. So we go to where we need to be. this out as well. Now to be 100% fair I can't be sure that this guy is looking at his phone but he's obviously not paying attention. What do you think now? Good. Which is the last car? This taxi? Don't rush though, you rush. Good. Even when this happened I knew this guy was extremely close to my back bumper because my new car activates the rear view camera and as you've heard, the sensors when someone gets really, really close. He was within about a foot. Even after nearly crashing into us, he waves his hand up in disgust. Okay. Up to your right. Okay, sound. So you can't rush, alright? In those situations, you have to calm yourself down and go smoothly. All right, so don't steer away, okay, just have to be again planning and ready to slow, okay, cool, well done, I think that find somewhere good to park in, I just want to talk to you about, um, Something just a light, so it's good to park. Could we park somewhere on the right, do you think? Would it be good to go over there behind that silver car? Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Plus, you go then. Get slower. Really slow. And then remember, finish your steer. Pretty good. Hold on, secure it up. Alright. Good. Good. Relax. Does that make sense about not rushing? Yeah, I know it's more difficult because I'm taking your sort of like crutch away of leaving it in gear. I'm not letting you do that. I'm forcing the issue about the look all the time. But it's happened a couple of times today with um, you rushing when those lights have changed. What's the danger with that as well? A little. That's that's yeah. It's one of the consequences. But what, what, good. Did you see the car behind? No. Do you know how close he was to crashing into the back of us? A couple of inches. Would that have been your fault? Though? No, it wouldn't have. All right. But I sort of get where you're coming from. There are things that we can do to lower that risk of that happening. But unfortunately, that is one of the things that driving schools, well, it, it happens to driving schools, driving school vehicles all the time. It baffles me as well because we're pretty obviously, we've got the learner sign on, um, but people don't plan very well and they just react. As soon as they see our car move a little bit, they go. And when the stall happened, that fella was just about quick enough to get onto his brakes. So that's no problem from your situation. He should be far enough back to be able to not have an issue with that, obviously. However, your frame of mind is sort of right. It's not a blame situation. It's not a blame game. But always look at yourself and always think, are the things that we can do better. Make sense? Yeah. So when those lights do change and maybe we've got to put it into gear, don't forget red number does mean get ready. Try not to be in a rush to get off and go. Doesn't need it. Alright? Move smoothly and then get going. If you think of the question I was asking you as well, were we able to go instantly when the lights changed? We were able to move, but were we ever going to be able to clear the junction instantly? Do you remember? Don't remember. 
there was a car the other way, and I think it was a, it's a blue one, and I think I asked you a little question on it. You know, which one's the last car? Was any, in other words, I was trying to get you to plan. And if you know that it's not going to be clear instantly, does that then lower your need to rush away in your own mind as well? Do you get it? Which lowers risk. So planning is everything. So try and remember, that wouldn't have been your fault, even if you'd have gone into the back of this, you would have been picking up the bill for it. But there are always things, generally when that happens, that the person who gets hit could have done differently. We were a portion to that, although it's his responsibility to not go into the back of someone. Alright? So, any questions? No, it's just getting, like, getting in the mind. The planning, in. yeah. Rather than, like, you know, we've explained many a times, your last instructor has, has just really allowed you to arrive, stop, gear, go, and it, you, your whole driving's a little bit like that, and it's, um, it's a little bit of a shame that you you feel sort of nervous over certain things like that. But today's been an improvement. I think that's been pretty good. Are we ready to go? Yeah? Go on then. Off we go. Let's drive on.